I've tried every single ChatGPT Chrome extension and here's the list of my favorites that will save you the most time. Every extension that you're going to see in this video are free to use. The first extension is called ChatGPT for search engines. It will display ChatGPT answer next to your Google search answer. Let's try it out. Let's type our search result. Uh, what are all branches of physics? All right, and, and as you can see here, we have the ChatGPT answer on the right side which is super neat, let's scroll down. And the best part is that I don't need to open any links, see any ads, and deal with terrible formats of certain websites where, as you can see on this specific random one, font is so tiny. But I think what's even better is the fact that I can ask additional questions. So here's a chat box and I can ask something like, how do Newton laws relate to each branch? And boom, the next thing you know, ChatGPT is already displaying contextual results for my search. Let's click on the settings icon to see how we can configure it. And here we get to pick the trigger mode. For example, when should ChatGPT start generating results? I have it as always on, but you can also have it as only one question mark is at the end of a search query or manually. I'm going to show you how the manual is going to look like. Let me just refresh this page. And you can click here to start getting your response generated. And by the way, this Chrome extension, you only need to install and it's automatically going to hook up to your web version of ChatGPT. So you don't need to provide any API key. So if we go to ChatGPT web application, here we have the questions that we typed in Google and the follow-up ones. The second Chrome extension is called Bardeen and it's my favorite for a reason. It's a workflow automation tool that allows you to leverage OpenAI to create your very custom workflows. Let me show you what I mean. Here we have a Wikipedia page about branches of physics and because I'm a little lazy, I don't want to really read it. And here you can see a bunch of different pre-built automations. Because I don't want to read this specific page, I'm going to type summarize and see if there's an automation that will summarize the currently open page using artificial intelligence. Looks like there is, I'm going to click on it. Boom, and just like this, here's my answer. Bardeen extracted all of the context from this specific page and then generated a summary based on that information. But that was probably the simplest Bardeen automation, so let me show you what else it can do. Here we are on the LinkedIn post page, and imagine I really liked Blake's post and I want to reach out to him. I need to obviously reach the post, reach his profile, which I also do not want to do. AI is here. Let me open the Chrome extension over here and let me find the automation that will generate an outreach message from a LinkedIn post. Let me type LinkedIn post. Okay, and here's the automation that will create the personalized outreach message based on the post. And here I get to type in what I want to reach out to Blake about. I can say, I want to collaborate on YouTube. Let me type it in, input my name, and then I'm going to remember one of the inputs. I want to remember the name, so I don't have to type it in again. Let's click on save and run this playbook. Okay, and the email was generated. Let's click on view. Here we have the subject line and obviously the body. I recently read your LinkedIn post about why PLG is not working like it used to. And then if you look back at the post, this is exactly the subject matter of the post, which is amazing. And then I go ahead and invite him to collaborate on a YouTube video. Let me give you a quick glance at how this automation works. Let me open Bardeen Chrome extension. And here's the automation. I'm going to open it in the builder. And here are the actions. The first action scrapes the LinkedIn post itself. The second action scrapes the author's LinkedIn profile. The third action creates a prompt. And finally, we're using this prompt that we've just generated to an OpenAI action. The OpenAI action is called get OpenAI composed email. So we're feeding that action and then we're sending it off with your name. Finally, there's another prompt to create a catchy subject line for that email. And then we're also feeding it to OpenAI, trying to find the email and we create an email draft. Pretty insane, right? The third Chrome extension is called YouTube Summaries for ChatGPT. And I believe this extension has gained 200,000 users in around a month. Let's check it out on one of my videos. Let's open the recent video over here. And then on the right side, you can see transcript summary. 
let's open it up. So here's the transcript, which is nothing new. Technically, you can click on these three dots and click on show transcript, and you're going to see pretty much the same results. So technically, YouTube gives you slightly more granular timestamps, which I don't think is as useful compared to getting them kind of clustered all together. And here you can click on view AI summary and all this extension does, and I have no idea how they gain so many users, it just copies the transcript and it's paste it to your chat GPT, and there you have the summary. Kind of useful on one hand, on the other hand, it just opens a new tab, which is slightly frustrating. Instead, let me try to recreate this automation with Bardeen AI. I told you it's my favorite Chrome extension for a reason. Let me open up Bardeen from here, and I've already built an automation that allows you to ask OpenAI any question about the content inside the video. Let me click here, and here I get to input the prompt, summarize this video, and let's run the automation. Technically, you can save this exact query so that uh, you don't have to type it every time. And here we have the video summary without having to open any new tabs. The next Chrome extension is called Web Chat GPT. So OpenAI used a bunch of information from the web before 2021 and use it to pre-train their generative pre-trained transformer, which is GPT in Chat GPT. So the results from 2022 and 2023 are not going to show up. Wait unless you use this extension. Let me show you around. Let's open ChatGPT in a new tab. When you have it installed at the bottom, you have some additional options. For example, in your search, you can include the web search results and you can say how many you want. Uh, let's do five search results. Here you can say in the past, however long the page was published and pick the region if you want to. So let's give it a try and let's prompt it to get all significant world events in 2022 as a list. All right, let's scroll all the way up and let me show you what's happening here. So this Chrome extension scraped the first five search results for this query, and then it edited the URL so that ChatGPT can scrape that information on its own, summarize the information and give you the answer, which is super clever. And here we have the instructions for that data. Let's scroll down and check out our results. And I think the coolest thing over here is that we even have citations to the articles that we provided at the top. This is one of those ChatGPT extensions that I cannot live without. Chrome extension number five is called AI PRM. It brings hundreds of prompt templates directly to OpenAI. Let's try it out. So there we have it installed. And here are some of the templates over here. You can vote on them, you can see comments, you can see views. And it looks like there are 714 prompts for copywriting that we can pick from. For me, I want to look for SEO. Here we're sorting by top votes and I want to type titles. And here we have YouTube SEO titles with tags generator. I can upload this one and let me pick it. And when I click on the card at the bottom, you can see that this template is going to be used. It's going to be in English. And here let's type something like how to make the best pasta in the world, type it in. All right, and here we have different types of titles over here. The YouTube description, which is super nice, hashtags, SEO tags, and that's pretty much it. Uh, this is super neat. Let's click on new chat over here, and then you can create your very own prompts. Let's click on new prompt. And here you can create your prompt template so you can reuse it over and over, similar to the use case that we've seen with the YouTube example. And finally, we have Chrome extensions for writing. I'm going to show you two. The first one is called Merlin. So you can browse the web and select some text like this, then summon it with a shortcut command M. And then there we have it. So this information was automatically copied because it was selected. And here at the top, I can ask Merlin to do something with this information. For example, rewrite it as a copywriter. Okay, and here we have the results. For the free version, you only have 30 queries, which is not that many to be honest. And this is why I'm moving on to the second Chrome extension for writing. It's called ChatGPT Writer and it allows you to do pretty much exactly the same thing, but it is free and frankly, the user interface is a little bit nicer. So for that demo, let's go to Gmail. And here's an example of an email about some ambassador program. So I'm going to click on reply and over here you have the ChatGPT Writer. I'm going to click on that. 
and I can write reply to this email saying that I am in and requesting more details. I'm going to click on generate reply. Okay, boom, here is our reply. And just like this, I can just insert the generate response over here and send it through. Pretty neat. And this were the top chat GPT Chrome extensions. You can grab links to them in the description of this video. And if you want to be on the frontier of artificial intelligence, make sure to subscribe to this channel, not to miss any videos like this one.